Hello dear Pisces and welcome to the theme of the year 2025 for Sun, Moon and Rising Pisces. If you would like to have a personalized theme of the year, you can go to the description box below to book a personalized theme of the year with me. So let's get started. What is the theme of the year for Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising? Well, 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 my dear Pisces. Your theme of the year to start with, I would like to tell you is that this is a year going to be full of opportunities. There are going to be a lot of paths that are going to open in front of you. This is what I see. There are going to be a lot of things to be done. It's going to be a very, very busy year for Pisces. And when you are busy, it means that you have a lot to do also, okay? Not busy doing nothing, okay? So I see a year full of opportunities, full of possibilities over here for you. I see that Pisces are going to be a lot into communication. This communication can be off online or offline communication also. I also see for Pisces is that they will be uh, a lot into negotiation, meetings, presentations on the media. Communication skills are going to be quite enhanced. So use this, uh, use these communication skills to your advantage, my dear Pisces, is what I can tell you. I also see for Pisces is that they will be uh, called on to mediate between people also. For example, uh, somebody is going through a tough time and then you are there, you know, saving grace. You go there and then you try to pacify things. So you might find yourself into situations like that where you are, you know, pacifying people and trying to bring about, uh, a, um, I can say, a healthy compromise between two parties also. Uh, you will be forced in some cases, you will be forced to mediate between people and it's going to be uh, a test of your wisdom, my dear Pisces, because this is where you have to know that you have to be unbiased, but you have to try to find a solution in which uh, people get pacified. They are, uh, they come to the solution of peace rather than you know disruption okay so you will be called on that also if you are already into law uh, if you are um, on the social media platforms uh, if you are uh, an artist an actor if you are anything to do with arts also is going to be a lot of communication that is coming out and it's going to be a good time for you a good year for you i also see a lot of possibilities opening up for pisces for example the ones who were already doing some jobs might get into business or uh, some uh, you know creative uh, stuff they will start doing all of a sudden they will change their fields a big big transformation when it comes to your job life is also taking place if you're in business then you might feel oh I think I'm going to take up a job now okay enough of it and then you just you know give up on that and then you enter into a new field completely for some of you you will have two to three things going on simultaneously okay and uh, it's like uh, you are doing one thing and then you will be doing another thing also at the same time. And through these two sources, you will make your fortune also. That is, you will have uh, more income also, you know. So there is a side stream of income also that is coming into your life, my dear Pisces. So only provided that you use these skills, okay. You use these skills of yours to your advantage and provided you have a discipline, okay? We Pisces can lack discipline sometimes and that's why what happens is that even if we have all the talent on this earth, what happens is that we don't implement it, we don't put it to use. And so finally people who have a bit less talent than us also overtake us and go ahead in life. Well, that's not the thing. Everybody can go ahead. That's not a problem. But the thing is that we have to do our level best and that is to um, have a fixed discipline now okay so this is what i see also for pisces sun moon and rising for 2025 coming to relationships very important decisions will be taken this year by you my dear pisces i see some of the pisces who are not getting along well with each other that is if they are in a karmic kind of a relationship a situation uh, this relationship may see may breathe its last 
in this year 2025 you will walk away from a relationship is what i see if you have been finding yourself as a prisoner in a relationship uh, i see that there is something happening around the divorce and separation people can separate under this energy is what i see as it is 2025 i see as a divorce year a very high number of divorces are going to take place in the year 2025 also because the patience is going to be lacking and those relationships which have already been on rocks um, they might not survive okay i also see for pisces is that some relationship somebody new comes into your life also so this will require very good decision making from your side because you have to really as you know you have to really see the person for who they are not you know like we tend to wear our rose color glasses and we look at the world like that when it comes to our love life uh, if you haven't checked just uh, pisces for pisces ladies i have made this a uh, wonderful uh, uh, class and for transformation in the relationships where i explain all this and how one can deal with this so there i would like to pisces ladies i really really would like you to go and you you know it is a paid class uh, so i really want you to do that because it will really really help you and i've seen so many of my lady clients pisces being helped by this approach this is what i see okay so here i'm telling you my dear pisces is that you remove your rose color glasses and see that person for who they are all right i see short term relationships also for pisces that are taking place in this um, your uh the thing is you know what pisces you're going to have a lot of choice lot of choice professionally speaking lot of choice sentimentally speaking so what is going to be very important for you is decision making okay money is going to come in but however it's not going to be like you know like wow it's coming in like i'm doing just this much and this much is coming no you're doing this much this much will come okay you do this much and this much is going to come so you need to do this much if you want to get this much <laughs> as simple as that my dear pisces okay so this is what i see now coming to your health i see the you you need to take care of your throat okay because there's a lot of communication also so the vishuddhi chakra has to be taken care of so honey water warm you know just warm tea water with a bit of honey you mix with it then have tulsi tea also that will do you good also for your throat you know you take good care of your throat because i see the throat chakra being uh, affected this year so that means you can catch cold cough very easily this year so you need to be very careful about that then i also see those patients who are having problems with their heart cardiac anything related to their hearts you have to be very very careful my dear patients because i see those of you who have some problems regarding your heart uh, then the arteries uh, i see can have some kind of a uh problem so warm water is the good solution okay and avoid any kind of very very fatty food smoking drinking this is not good for not good for health at all okay so the smoking things and all if guys if you're smoking then i would like to tell you you know just you know take a good decision regarding that and save and help your arteries uh my dear pisces okay because some of you can have some blocked or clogged artery problems also in this year okay and even your uh, circulatory system also so this is why i said you know go walk around you know walk a lot or do some light exercises if you can and uh, drink plenty of water i would say warm water that will be very very good for you uh, this is what i see my dear pisces money wise as i said uh, is going to be fine and i told you how it's going to come and go also you know so um, take care of your uh, unnecessary expenditures also and very very uh, balanced decision making will be required this year my dear pisces don't rush into any kind of sentimental decisions uh, or any professional decisions so don't jump into it okay just take a bit of your time you know use your intuition that's the best weapon god has given to you okay uh, us 
Me too, I am also a Pisces. <laughs> so, uh, we have to use our intuition to the best, okay, uh, in order to avoid any kind of traps, okay, because sometimes what is seen is not what it seems, okay. And sentimentally speaking, I see that Pisces will be dealing with the Sagittarius and Capricorn energy uh, in the year 2025. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Capri, Sun, Moon, and Rising what you will be dealing with somebody important playing that role uh, and will fall under this uh, these two signs is what I see my dear Pisces for you also for Pisces I also see that there will be a lot of short distance travels uh, that are on the yeah uh, this year you're going to undertake a lot of short distance travel it can be either for family uh, you know uh, your children uh, or meeting your loved one who is maybe a bit far from you so you're doing a lot of short distance travels either by train short distance plane travels or even uh, road travels i see a lot also even for your work you might have to travel a lot uh, for some of the Pisces is what I see also my dear Pisces. So I wish you all the best my dear Pisces and a happy and a transformative and um, I would say a big year okay a happy 2025 to you all and please do like share and comment as I told you if you want personal theme of the year from me go to the description box below where you can book this reading. Bye bye. God bless. Bye.